So a key challenge that many companies have today is figuring out how to address the diverse market needs they have for their product platforms, how to improve their reuse and efficiency while meeting a range of customer needs across the market, across the globe. Many customers are addressing these with platform modular strategies, allowing them to have a whole host of offerings from a common pop product platform. In order to do this, there is not one single strategy, not one size fits all solution for different companies and different market needs. As a matter of fact, of the strategies, many companies might actually use one or two of the strategies for their, for their markets. These strategies not only define how they design their product, but how they do everything from how they envision their product, build requirements, design, validate, and test the product, manufacture the product, and service it. So it's a complete holistic strategy across their company. So we see, we see a range of strategies that companies implement to meet their market needs. Started, starting with assemble to stock, this is a strategy that allows companies to take fixed feature designs and offer them to markets as a predefined sellable, sellable item or SKU. Think about uh, refrigerators or washing machines in, in, in a large store, uh, your phone in different colors, um, your uh, set of bicycles in different colors or laptops at an electronic store can be uh, assembled to stock products where, a, where dozens or hundreds of configurations are predefined for a given model year and made available to order off the, off the shelf from, from a range of retailers. The next level on top of that is what we call assemble to order. Assemble to order uses that same fixed feature capability. And when we say fixed feature, some examples might be, if I'm ordering a laptop, I can have three different size memories or two different screen resolutions. So they are discrete selections. They are selected on a per order basis. So if I go to a large computer site, I can configure a laptop to meet my need. If I order a car, I can order the car with the specific options that I want. Those are two great examples of assemble to order companies. And the scale on those can be thousands, hundreds, or 10 to the 10 to the 70th or 80th power virtual combinations. So you can have large and complex, everything from very simple to large and complex configurations that come out of assemble to order. Going back to where we talked about a mixture of business strategies, you'll frequently see customers and, and companies mix assemble to stock and assemble to order. Going back to the lap laptop example, a company might offer a range of four to five laptops that are pre-configured to buy at an electronics store, or you can go to their website and configure it to your specific needs. Moving up to the next level of sophistication in business strategy is what we call configure to order. Configure to order can leverage fixed features and like we just talked about with assemble to order, but it also adds the ability to have variable and calculated features. Some great examples of this might be a refrigerator case where you can have it in a range of uh, width, length, and height. And based upon that, it might calculate different needs for cooling and end up with a different cooling system. Other configure to order uh, examples that you might see are something like an elevator where it is configured for a variety of floors. And each order might result in different configurations. So you might never have the same two configurations at any given time. The final step on these platform strategies is engineer to order. Engineer to order can start with an assemble to order or configure to order base. When the order is taken and configured, there is then order-specific engineering done for those customer needs applied to that unit. An example of this is one customer that we have that does large power generation equipment where the core of it is assembled to order, but every base that goes out is a unique configuration for where it is installed. This allows companies to have the great power and scalability of the ATO, assemble to order, CTO, configure to order methodologies, and any amount of order specific engineering that is needed on top of that. 
Other areas you might see that are in office furniture where you might have very specific needs to meet a very specific uh, office situation, starting with a configure to order platform and then adding that, that customer specific needs on top of that. It allows a great range of scale and personalization for that, for that final degree of complexity in platform strategies. Windchill provides the foundation to manage your product's configurable platform, validate all the design configurations, share that information across the enterprise. In addition, it allows you that complete digital thread to start by linking in your requirements information that help define that platform, validate it across a whole range of situations, provide the right visualization to the enterprise. So whether it's a pre-sales engineer that wants to see what a configuration might need to look like, or someone on the shop floor who wants to see what that configured variant is. We then allow you to transfer that logic all the way downstream through manufacturing and service. So it becomes the core of enabling and delivering that logic all the way across the digital thread.